Warning, this video contains bloody and gory imagery and a bit of strong language. Viewer discretion is advised. If this video gets age restricted on YouTube, then so be it. Hi everybody, this is Black Rhino Ranger. And if you know me, you know I am highly excited to see the latest Mortal Kombat game entitled Mortal Kombat 1. Wait, didn't we already have a Mortal Kombat 1 back in 1992? We often nicknamed that one as MK1. How do we nickname this one? MK12, MK12? MK2023, MK1R, R means reboot. Anything else? Anyways, what perfect timing because today something else Mortal Kombat related happened to me. But not in a good way. In fact, it, it's in a way that makes me feel, feel, uh, well, like this. YouTube did something dirty to one of my videos. Remember this video I made when I basically combined two Warner Brother intro variants which were played in the beginning of the two Mortal Kombat movies, Scorpion's Revenge and Battle of the Realms? The first one showed Daffy from the Looney Tunes fooling around, but then being grabbed on by Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. This was basically a different version of the intro when it was Porky that grabbed onto Daffy. In the second one, it has Scorpion showing his moves, but then he gets grabbed on by Shaggy Rogers from scooby Doo. Growing in the green aura as a reference to the meme of Ultra Instinct Shaggy, and perhaps as an apology that he could not be in Mortal Kombat 11 as hoped by fans. Maybe MK1 can change that, or if Scorpion appears in the final version of Multiverses. Also, there's a Scooby Doo cameo. When I made that video, it was just a random thing, it was just made for the sake of funsies. But what I did not expect is that it was growing thousands and thousands of views every day. Hey, since the day I made it, which was in September 2021, and at the time I made this video, it had over 2.8 million views. However, just recently, I received a note from my Gmail that YouTube set the video as made for kids. What? Are they serious? This is the third time one of my videos has been automatically labeled for kids. The first time was with my MPMV video of Casey Jr. Which is basically a My Little Pony music video using the song Casey Jr. from Dumbo. The other time was with my Skylander Swap for Soul Jam previews with different songs. Thankfully for the latter, I sent a dispute and they managed to remove that. The PMV on the other hand is still labeled for kids, but I'll let that slide. However, for the Mortal Kombat one, I do believe it is a serious issue. For those who don't know, Mortal Kombat was basically known for its extreme amounts of blood and gory violence. When the first game came out, it caused massive controversy questioning if kids should play this game. It's basically why the ESRB rating system was invented in the first place, and how Mortal Kombat became one of the first games to receive the M for Mature rating, and almost every Mortal Kombat title has had this age rating ever since. With exception of the Game Boy versions of Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 4, the Tiger Electronics version of Mortal Kombat Trilogy, and of course, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Granted, in the early days of Mortal Kombat, while the games were definitely bloody, when adapting into movies and TV shows, they have it for a younger audience. Both Mortal Kombat 95 and its sequel, Annihilation, were rated PG-13, and the TV series Conquest was rated TVPG, and the animated series Defenders of the Realm was a Y7. It wasn't until the 2010s when we took the idea of Mortal Kombat on TV or in movies more seriously and go forward with the TVMA and our ratings. Like in the Mortal Kombat Legacy series which used to be on a now deleted YouTube channel called Machinima. And of course the latest live action Mortal Kombat movie made in 2021. Saw that on my birthday. And of course we also have an R rated animated movie series called Mortal Kombat Legends. The first is Scorpion's Revenge, the second is Battle of the Realms, and currently our last one is Snowblind. I heard another one will be released this year under the name Cage Match. And now you know the basics of what Mortal Kombat and its history with the age rating is about, I must ask you this. How in the nether realm is this video made for kids worthy? I get Daffy and Shaggy, they're generally kid stuff, at least if you don't think too deeply about their history. Like Looney Tunes has alcoholism, use of tobacco, and of course a lot of things that are highly outdated that there's even a compilation of 11 shorts that categorize as being too racist to be shown on TV nowadays. And Shaggy is implied to be a stoner, and he looks like he's been smoking weed. 
But Scorpion, on the other hand, he was made for adults. He was not meant for children to see. He's got the signature move of stabbing to the heart with his spear, pulling them towards him, and yelling, GET OVER HERE! He's also a burning skull who can scorch his enemies until they are either bone or bits of their flesh are sticking out. Yeah, totally for kids! Sure, he would perhaps fit in something like the Owl House, but that's not the point. The point is, what YouTube has done is dangerous and unacceptable. This video that contains a Mortal Kombat clip does not belong on YouTube. Maybe unlikely, I might be thinking too deep, but if a child sees this, they'll probably ask their parents and say, Who's that ninja guy? And they'll probably want to know the source of that video. Imagine parents putting this on for their kids. And that's from the same movie I got the Scorpion Grabbing Daffy intro from. So, I sent a dispute towards YouTube hoping to get rid of the made for kids restriction from that video, but then I received another letter from them and say it's still suitable for kids. We are keeping the restriction. Normally, I don't like to be this angry. I'm trying my dang hardest to be nice, reasonable, and diplomatic with whatever conversation I have, especially with my friends, family, and fans. Even the more insane ones, unless extreme action has to be taken. I will admit, I do sometimes get a bit defensive, and I normally try my best to avoid swerving as it's not really my thing, but... What the fuck is wrong with YouTube? This is just plain idiotic. If I had kids, I would not introduce them to it until they're like 13 or over. Heck, I was 13 when I was introduced to my first Mortal Kombat game, Deadly Alliance, which oddly enough, was at school. But I cannot allow YouTube to get away with this. Again, a Mortal Kombat video on YouTube Kids is dangerous. It'll make a child want to know about Mortal Kombat too early. This goes everything COPPA stood for. The Child Online Privacy Protection Act was made to protect kids from visiting or doing something on sites that requires them to be at least 13 or over to use. YouTube did something illegal by making the YouTube Kids app back in 2015. And several users took advantage of this and made disturbing videos of characters using several children's media doing very disturbing stuff. Hence the term Elsergate was made. And apparently it's made a bit of a comeback. There's an Owl House version of that that came out about last month, for example. This caused Kappa to step in four years later to enforce the restriction on what's suitable for kids and what's not. Disabling comments, ending cards, and locking the easy way to access the favorites option. I also fear if parents see this, they might call me out for sharing an R-rated clip based on an M-rated game series. And I fear they might demand YouTube to either delete the video or delete my entire channel just because of that video, which they themselves enforce me to share on the YouTube Kids app. I worry that Kappa will look at this and then force me to take it down, and I might have to pay a fine for this, even if it's not monetized anymore. YouTube is basically trying to get me in trouble for something THEY DID TO ME! Currently, I have one last shot on this. I contacted them on their Twitter to see if they can sort it out. I'll let you know what happens on an update video. If this fails, I might as well delete that video because it's too dangerous to be kept on at this state. Even if it does damage my algorithm and I could be recommended less. At this point, I just don't feel safe posting stuff on YouTube anymore. It shows that even something M-rated and R-rated can still be flagged for kids. I fear any of my animations will also get the same treatment if it does happen again. Maybe not now or soon, but sometime in the future perhaps. This is more baffling to me than the time one of my My Little Pony Friendship is Magic videos was age restricted because of burps, even though it's just clips of My Little Pony with sound effects from Crash Tag Team Racing. I'll explain more about that in my video flags for burping video in case you want to know more. Link is in the description. But again, think about this. One of my videos, which is My Little Pony related, was age restricted. But one of my other videos, which is Mortal Kombat related, was set for kids. Is YouTube topsy-turvy town? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? It's illegal to clean clothes. Huh? Police! Oh, topsy-turvy town. If that's the case, I guess it's okay to read toddlers Fifty Shades of Grey during bedtime. 
Let's all revert back to being cavemen, then monkey, then rat, then early synapsid, then tetrapod, then fish, and back to a single cell. That's how YouTube works now. But in all seriousness, YouTube must never do this again. I worry that it won't be just Mortal Kombat that is affected. Other videos of R-rated movies, MA-rated TV shows, and M-rated games might get affected too, and we cannot allow this to continue. I'm fine with having videos age restricted, even if it's for ludicrous reasons, but I am always cautious about any of my videos being automatically set for kids. The PMV Casey Jr. one I can understand, it's just two things from kids media combined into one, My Little Pony and Dumbo. But again, the Mortal Kombat part is not okay. YouTube, please get your shit together and do not do this again. Do not set any video that has at least one clip from an R-rated movie or M-rated game as for kids. It's dangerous, it's unacceptable, and it furthers damage both of your platforms and you basically keep failing to do what COPPA demanded you to do. Protect children when they are using the apps. Please, YouTube, fix your fucking problem! Has this ever happened to you when you had an M-rated or R-rated clip that was forcibly shared on YouTube Kids? Let me know in the comments. And also, if any of my animations gets this, and if they reject my appeals, I might have to stop my animations and perhaps close down my YouTube channel because of the problems I am facing with them. I hope to the Yellow Gods that my future on YouTube does not turn out shittier than this. If you like, you can share this video, comment on my channel for additional suggestions, and you can even make your own video responses to what I have to say. Whether you agree or disagree, if I make a mistake on some parts or exaggerate at least a bit, call me out if you must. I hope you understand this video. If not, enjoy it.